How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our fighting game. In this lecture we're going to be setting up our menu layout. So we actually have a menu layout to start from so it'll actually feel like an actual game. Now this isn't going to have the most in-depth menu but this menu will be very important because it's going to detect if we have a gamepad or not. If our user is using a game controller that's what this menu needs to really do and that's its main purpose. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another layer here and I'm going to rename the layer zero to be our background and I'm going to call layer one rename it to be our menu and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock our menu and I'm going to go into our background I'm going to change the transparency to yes so that way we don't have any color showing whatsoever I'm going to double click and make a new sprite since this is going to take up the entire layout I'm going to type in or just click on title screen new and I can put the origin point to the top left so there we go hopefully this will become second nature by this point here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit over and in this case I'm going to turn snap to grid off so I can kind of get all of the image in there that I would like something like that should work perfectly for our background now I'm going to lock our background and I'm going to go to our menu I'm going to double click and insert another sprite load an image from file and make sure you're in the menus folder in our assets and let's grab our gamepad connected and gamepad disconnected so let's actually just grab the connected let's exit out of this and let's put this right here for now let's double click and let's add a new sprite let's open and load another image and let's grab the title screen let's hit crop on this just so it makes sure make sure that we crop everything in case there's any space and what we're going to do is actually, you know what, let's just keep importing the other assets first before we design this. Let's load another image. Let's load the press start image. And then let's double click sprite and let's load another image. And in this case, we're going to load our sword and we can crop that as well. So now we have a bunch of images to work from and they should all be relatively easy to scale up and down. So I'm gonna scale up our press start logo here. I'm gonna scale up our disconnected, reconnected gamepad logo here. I'm gonna scale up our actual game logo here. And you can see that this game is called Lambent Fighter, which is just a silly name to mean it has some neon colors in it. Now here's an interesting thing in case you haven't uh, done this before. What we're going to do is we're going to put our sword behind our actual logo here. So right behind the fighter text. And to do this, since it's on the same exact layer, we need to right click and set the Z order to the bottom of the layer. So it's behind in its own Z order. So I won't go into too much detail explaining that, but you should know hopefully that by doing that, you are able to just really control your objects a lot more. And you can actually play around with the depth perception on your own, and it might come in handy at some point. But right now, I'm just going to set this up so it's a little bit closer to, let's see, I want the handle to be somewhere like this, and I might need to scale this up even more, make it a really ginormous sword. Whatever you want to do, you can set it up just so it looks like a menu here, and we can kind of... Maybe we'll skew this down a little bit here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn snap to grid back on so things will kind of snap and center. That way I might know where they are. And again, putting them in the top left is probably going to be our best bet here. But I just kind of want to set this up so we have a screen to go to here before we program it. Now the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our disconnected, uh, reconnected or connected uh, image here. I'm going to make a new frame and I'm going to open and load a the other icon, our disconnected icon, just like this. And I'm going to exit out. So now we are pretty much all set up with our menu. Now the one thing I want to do that is left is I want to click out here. Oops. I want to click on just like the gray area or outside of our layout here. And I'm going to go to our project properties. And you're going to see here that our first layout is set to our default layout. And now that we kind of have our menu layout, I want it to be our menu layout. So there we go. So now when I hit play, and I am using NWJS at the moment, and I kind of go back and forth later on here, but NWJS is probably going to be what I'm using just so I can easily debug and show you the game without having to load a browser. And you can see here that it's going to load our menu before we actually go to our game. So we're going to be setting up our menu event later, but at least we have our menu layout done for now. 
Thank you so much for watching this lecture, and I will see you in the next one.